is down. Batista is down. Jerry Lawler has bruised ribs, and he's also suffering from, from anal bleeding. What? <laughs> Throughout his time, both on... What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're going to check out top 10 funniest WWE wrestlers of all time by Wrestling Flashback. This video is about to be a long one, man. It is an hour and three minutes. We're going to sit here, enjoy this. Uh, some of you, uh, some of y'all wanted me to check this out. Initially, I wasn't because the video was going to be so long, but I don't think you guys have a problem with it. A few of y'all wanted me to actually do a reaction to this. So if y'all down to sit here for <laughs> pretty much the next hour and we check out some funny um, um, wrestlers in WWE, which there have been plenty of them over the years, you know, just how hilarious they are i'm willing to bet our truth has to be in this video because he's one of the funniest wrestlers wwe has ever had so y'all willing to sit down and watch this with me then guess what we're gonna do this so sit back get you a snack get you something to drink this is about to be a very interesting one i've been looking forward to checking this out so let's get right into this one man should be a good one one self Wrestling is a buffet of entertainment, and sometimes it can be at its most fun when comedy is involved. There's yeah. been plenty of wrestlers that have displayed their comedic talents Montez time and time too. again. <laughs> and for this video, we want to highlight some of the best examples. Today, we look at the top 10 funniest wrestlers. Before we begin, let's run through some honorable mentions. These include The Hurricane, of course. The Tiny Ding a Ling. Yeah, that's right. Ah, no! no. <laughs> Easy, big fella. Hey, yo! But it would appear that you're full of Brahma bull crap! <laughs> the hardcore legend Mick Foley. I'll reach into your pants, I'll whip it out, and I'll stick it in your whoa, damn whoa, whoa, mouth! Whoa, whoa. Hey, yo! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, the it doesn't matter how it makes you <laughs> Big Papa Pumps got yeah. Steiner. So small Joe, you take your 33 <laughs> and a third chance. Classic minus promo. my 25% chance. Joe, you call him for what he is. That fat bastard, you call him <laughs> Sloppy Joe. Sloppy You're gonna be Joe. taking splinters out of your fat asses all night long because you got some fat asses. I'm Dunkin' Donuts <laughs> from the great state of obesity. Jerry the King Lola. <laughs> Look at Taka Michinoku. He loses another pound, we'll have to file a missing persons report. Lita is Edge's girlfriend. A girlfriend is like a wife, except you get to have sex with her. What? Hoes don't vote. They don't care who gets in. I beg your pardon. The New Day. We hit the Uso so hard that when they walk north, they're looking south. That's that poltergeist, baby! Sami Zayn. <laughs> doing a little dance. Sami's great, too. That's what dance you do. That's, I'm in his head doing the dance. <laughs> yeah, right? I go, my dog. My dog. I'm right here. Do <laughs> 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 You know what I mean? Uh, 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 there it is. <laughs> how, do you, how do you know I love Jimmy? He just hasn't been... <laughs> oozy. <laughs> very oozy. <laughs> And the Texas rattlesnake Stone Cold Steve Austin. Breathing down our necks. Breathing down our necks. They're breathing down. <laughs> oh, time for losers. Cause I am the champion. Stop it right there. Stop the music now. That is stupid music. I ain't got time to watch you spray that stupid ass water all over the crowd. You said you had a bigger set of balls than anybody. What if I just put you over my knee, pull your little dress up? I gotta be careful. I don't want your balls to fall out. <laughs> Number 10, William Regal. William Regal borrowed heavily from classic British comedies to become the hysterical gentleman villain we all know and love. Look at me, I'm a, Hulk, I'm a Hulkamaniac and I've got my silly little Hulk Hogan cup and my hat and my silly little doll and I look a complete bloody pillock. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. I, if y'all really pay you really shouldn't be paying attention, but just first and foremost bloody pillock. Just just hold on, I just got if your piss is green, you may want to get some medical attention. I'm just I'm just I'm not a doctor, but I don't I don't think it should be that either. <clears throat> 
<laughs> Is your father a donkey? <laughs> hey, yo! Oops! Ladies out! Oh, I'm dreadfully sorry. It's not. It's the air conditioning. Hey! Regal wasn't afraid to make himself look foolish because he understood that comedy is universal. But there's no question that what we have coming up is our most important. What if he passes gas? Hey, yo! What is? Straight up gangster tripping, yes boy. You didn't even need to like wrestling to enjoy Regal's work, which is saying something given how great he was in the ring. That left hand. He had those damn brass knuckles in that left hand. Yeah, this is funny too. Yeah, Regal, wait a minute. Oh, big shot against the ring. <laughs> if a person was watching the show for the first time and saw William Regal, they would certainly remember him. You manga, yes, big Samoan fellow, funny hair. Ooh, ma, ga. Yes. That's right. You manga. You manga. You manga. You manga. And you manga. You manga. You manga. You manga. He made each second of TV time count since everything Regal did meant something. Aha. The brass nuts. The infamous brass nuts. Every week is referee Mike Kiona checking Regal. Because every single show for the past. Hey yo! No From his incredible proficiency <laughs> between the ropes to his brilliant facial expressions, which are among some of the best in wrestling history. Oh how hideous that must smell! <laughs> 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 Sideways and stick it straight up. You can't get. <laughs> bro, the facial go. expressions is priceless, bro. What the heck? Uh, so much for the fine linen. Look at him. <laughs> oh. Whenever you were in the ring, I would go to your locker room and I would open your bag, take out your tooth brush, and stick it right up my bottom. Hey, yo! Number 9, Goldust. During his WWF run, Goldust was a creepy, sleazy, androgynous heel character that pushed the envelope. But when he returned in 2002, we got to see what he was capable of as a hilarious babyface. The fans have some... Ooh, 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 Excuse me? You need to calm your whore! Ow, ow, whore! Hormones down! <laughs> bro, the fact that they had this nigga doing this, bro. Oh my god! And credit to to Dustin, bro. He, he he committed. He fully committed to doing that, bro. That's wild. Cornbread, damn it, cornbread. <laughs> And we've got sausage and midgets all waiting in the car just for you. Let's go. You will definitely. Hey, yo. <laughs> I have more ammunition in my cannon than you'll ever realize. Hey, yo. What the hell's the matter with you? <laughs> that shit was actually pretty good. That shit was actually pretty it's good. The giant sleeping shop of <laughs> Goldust's odd couple tag pairing with Booker T was some of the best WWE television of 2002. Nah, was it was a, a fantastic story too. as Goldie sought Booker's approval only to be turned down so Book could join the heel NWO. Howdy there, NWO. <laughs> I'm the coach. <laughs> Big Kev. In fact, dressed like that, he looked like some kind of freaky dinky Oreo cookie or something. <laughs> Say some Mills. I want you to leave the NWR. Man, what the hell are you doing here? The two eventually <laughs> became a team, leading to even more funny segments. I'll give you a bite of my wiener. Hey, yo! Would you like to touch my sack? Hey, yo! <laughs> Having sex with a dead body. Who in the hell? 
have sex with a dead body. Come on. Pick it. Pick it. Man, no. I feel like a fool with this outfit on. I don't look like that. Tell me I don't look like that. Oh. Ah. Bro. <laughs> the undercover brother. Now can you dig that sucker? <laughs> Even though they were such a funny duo, Booker T and Golda's breakup was actually one of the more emotional WWE moments. Every time my back was against the wall, who was there? You, Goldie. I enjoy it each and every second we've been together. They had been so good together, it was sad to see them go their separate ways. In 2016, we got to see the Booker T and Golda story reimagined this time with R Truth. Unlike Booker, who acted as the straight man, Truth was an oddball like Golda's, but that didn't mean they were a tag team at first sight. Goldie would hilariously fail in his attempts to try and get Truth to team with him. Excuse me, sir. Do you need some help? Boo, 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 beep, 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 partner! Oh. What? Hey! Oh. Ah. Hey, don't point that thing at me. It's oh. <laughs> 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 oh, so wow. tight. <laughs> I made you this game. Bro, this is definitely some vent shit, bro. That was so fucking unnecessarily childish, but that's Vince humor right there. Just to say that. I'm sorry. Only for Truth to eventually chew him out and then feel bad about it. This led to Truth trying to make amends by agreeing to team up. But now Goldust was the one saying no after being sick of looking foolish in his quest to tag with Truth. Let me spell it out for you. Oh! That means it's on, y'all! <laughs> this storyline lasted for nearly five months until the two ultimately became the Golden Truth. Check this out. I'm gonna show you chemistry right here. Take it, take it. We rolling. Yeah, look pretty. Look real pretty. What is real happening history. here? So. Do it. I am sweating my golden globes off. Going up in the hood, the closest thing we had to a penguin was a 17-year-old pigeon that had a lip. What? You have what I need, partner. And I have what you need. Golda's pairing with Booker T and R-Truth just goes to show us how wrestling isn't actually wrestling sometimes. <laughs> the whole chase of Goldus wanting to be partners with Book and Truth took place almost exclusively out of the ring. Further proof of how wrestling is a variety show with a buffet of entertainment. Number 8, Kurt Angle. Mm -hmm. Given his amateur wrestling success and credentials, Kurt Angle de definitely deserves to be on this list. He was naturally funny. Like, he was funny, but in his like early in his career, like the corny type of way, like the nerd, but he was athletic as hell. And then as he <laughs> transitioned, lost the hair, went bald, he became funny in a dark kind of way. It, it, it fucking worked, bro. He's he's hilarious, bro. Kurt Angle had every reason to be the most serious straight shooting wrestler of all time, but it was because of his legitimate background that creative were able to take risks with Angle and get away with it, since there was no question he would be taken seriously in the ring regardless. But Kurt was not only a natural when it came to the in-ring, he just so happened to be one of the funniest performers wrestling has ever seen. So good. I'm the only thing left in these people's lives. Many of them whom are out on bail just to see me. Four women want me to donate my Olympic seed. You want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? To quote the popular singer Shakira, whenever, wherever. Here you go! Look at this. <laughs> they look like a turtle in a shell. <laughs> we'll have more teeth than you. <laughs> we'll have more hair than you. <laughs> And I've been wearing a wig. See, it ain't so. Angle had brilliant on screen chemistry with the mm -hmm. likes of Stone Cold. Oh, man. Let me see. <laughs> I was in the Cub Scouts, the Weebelos, Boy Scouts. I did them all. What do you mean you did them all? Give me crack corn and I don't care. 
I got Olympic gold. So. <laughs> like a real cowboy. yippee ki He doesn't have his watch right now. So what? No, I got it all time. What? What? This time I got it. What? 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 The Undertaker. You're an American badass. I'm an Olympic gold medal lass. <laughs> First of all, I met your wife once. I didn't even like her. I didn't even find her attractive. <laughs> I love you, man. Edge. <laughs> oh, that, hey, that's when I this first is, won this the WWE title. program yeah. with oh, them too. Cool. So yeah, good, yeah. such good times. <laughs> Check this one out. Oh, oh you got me good with this one. And yes, I do suck. <laughs> <laughs> and Christian. Hey, my chicken shit. Yeah, 224. Mm. Angle. <laughs> Angle. Hey, guys, guys. Cripes on Friday. Would you give me some time alone, please? Cripes on Friday. He did it again. On television, <laughs> Kurt loved milk. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> Good this is all the more funny when we consider mm. that in real life, Angle despised drinking milk. Oh, wow. it's true. Didn't know that. It's damn true. And hey, he'd been told he sucked. <laughs> <laughs> That you people are the ones that suck! <laughs> Kurt was someone that could give a side-splitting interview in the opening segment and then wrestle a five-star classic mm -hmm. in the main event. When we think of the total package wrestling performer, Kurt Angle is at the very top of the list. You're For a sure. boy in a man's world, and I'm a man who loves to play with boys. <laughs> no, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Name is Kurt Angle, and what the heck? I want to go meddle with a broken freaking neck! <laughs> Can you feel that, Angle? <laughs> Number seven, Ric Flair. Ric Flair had many recurring tropes that made him so. F he definitely was funny. <laughs> he definitely was fucking funny, bro. <laughs> Ric Flair just—he just don't give a fuck, bro. Even now, today, I think I seen that clip of him. Uh, I don't know if he was at a bar or something, dude. You can tell he was drunk out of his mind. He doesn't give a damn. Fun to watch. <laughs> One of which was breaking the rules. Is uh -huh. why he was the dirtiest player in the game. He's in the corner again. Six on trying to ride him one more time. Oh, oh man. Oh. Right in the midsection now. Flair knows it was a lucky move. He's trying to... Hey, don't... Ah. Hey. We've got a... <laughs> going on. It's out of the alley, but here comes Lita. Oh, she gets one as well. Oh. 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 Watch it here. Watch it here. Oh. And... The Nature Boy's signature crazy outburst was some of the best and funniest promos ever cut. You get on Space Mountain, you'll be like this. <laughs> oh, it's Ric Flair, and y'all pay homage to the man who made this coat. Hugo Boss, Armani, you set it up broke hell. My life just started, Jack. Who are you? Dyer, tell me how to wrestle. Tell him all you came here for a shot at the title, baby. What if he can never wrestle again? You can't do that. Settle down for you, blow your pacemaker, kid. <laughs> oh. The theme song that we heard earlier at the top of the show. That's when you were a fan, dude. I'll be damned. I look at you and say, virgin. You know, <laughs> that's the bloody, I pay the price. You like. Bro, he, bro, passion is not even the word to describe Ric Flair. He was different back then. He's still more or less the same now. Like, you can't deny it. Whether you 
You're not a biggest fan of some of the stuff he's done or been accused of. Whatever the case may be, you can never deny the man's passion for the wrestling business, man. Only person I know legitimately bust himself open while selling a promo. Talking in a promo. It's crazy, bro. Unheard of. Blood! I'll bleed! Uh-oh. It's got it. Yeah. You yeah. can't hurt me. I've crushed an airplane. Been hit by lightning. Hit by sledgehammers. See, that's hot. This is real, brother. This is wrestling. Masterpiece. <laughs> that's what I think of your book. I will never retire. <laughs> we believe you. I wear a fifteen thousand dollar Rolex. You want to see it? Yeah. You want to see it? Watch this. <laughs> you can't be me. You can't be like the Nate Devoy. I am Ric Flair, the president of the United States. No, no, no. Nobody see it. Of you. Bro, you hey, the, camera the president of the United States. No, no, no. Don't you see that? <laughs> and I'll be naked when you come back. The Flair strut, borrowed from the original Nature Boy Buddy Rogers, mm -hmm. was one of Rick's most recognizable trademarks. It was particularly comical when Nature would really ham it up. What is he doing? What is he doing? <laughs> going downstairs. I thought Hurricane was going to. Flair of the soul when it came to almost every aspect of his character. Just look at the way he would react to being ejected from ringside by the referees. Get out of here! He's so mad! <laughs> <laughs> the 16 time world champion's best overreactions, however, yep. came in the form the of seller. the Flair flop. Rick initially began doing this when he returned to the ring after being involved in a plane crash. Flair was sometimes apprehensive in taking a full on flat back bump, so he instead chose to fall forward on occasions. The Flair flop ended up becoming a key piece of nature's arsenal, and it wasn't even an offensive maneuver. Oh. <laughs> Oh, 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 I'm good, I'm good, I'm, I'm straight, I'm straight. Yep. Oh my god. Those shots. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Watch Flair now. He's had enough. <laughs> god damn. Rick Flair in big trouble. He can't get knocked. Number six, R Truth. I knew R Truth was on it. If R Truth wasn't on this list, this list is fucking not credible. R Truth's hilarious antics have evolved over time. Who remembers his short lived prankster character known as Pretty Ricky? Pretty Ricky, Pretty Ricky. <laughs> 
Truth really started to ramp up the comedy in 2011. This was when he first began to go mad. Look at yeah. little Jimmy. Little, little He's Jimmy. So cute. What's up? What's up? <laughs> oh, you little Jimmy's. Oh, you big Jimmy's. Even the mama Jimmy. Don't what me? Don't what me? Okay, what me? What? <laughs> I don't even know if that's PG. PG. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hold on. No. <laughs> so Hold good. hands on the horse, Jimmy. He's starting to buck. <laughs> Us. Truth later found himself mixing up different match types and wrestlers. Uh, this is so funny, bro. This is so funny, bro. <laughs> You're not even in the tournament. Gentlemen, my bad. <laughs> Where's Nick? Our truth no! is the guys. <laughs> Respect the judgment they have felt. <laughs> 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 Makes the tag. <laughs> <laughs> For Diva of the Year is Paige! I made a mistake. Who Diva of the Year is Nikki Bella. Tazawa, you think you can trick me by being the nature boy? But I see right through you, Tommaso Ciampa. <laughs> Some of his best stuff came while trying to keep hold of the 24-7 yeah. championship. <laughs> this shit was funny right here, bro. One, two, three. Two, three. Yeah. Two, two, two. Three. Come on out. One, two, three. Winner. Told you, Santa. We got to go. Sorry. Bad choice. Bad choice. <laughs> Keep running, Truth. Keep running. Have you seen our truth? Truth. You can tell. Truth. I tricked y'all, didn't I? Yeah. I've been an alien the whole time. A reaper dunce, never never. See you guys later. No matter what he was given, Truth made it work. Truth's attempts to become a member of the Judgment Day faction were was gold. really good, We've bro. We've been through a lot together. This Money is so in the bank, funny, the women's Royal Rumble, the Judgment Day in your house. You didn't mean it when you said you didn't like me. I saw it in your eyes. <laughs> Do you realize where you are right now? Commercial break! Commercial break! Commercial break! <laughs> it's a bro, I'm sorry to hit you with, but go to commercial break! Commercial break! <laughs> oh my god, that was funny. Go to commercial Stu! Commercial break! Stu! And all rise for the judgment day! <laughs> This even led him to winning a regular title for the first time since 2019. I'm legally insane. And that's why you're my tag team partner. R-Truth has been so funny, he's made numerous wrestlers laugh or break character whilst on screen. I'm back, guys. Leave him alone. Please chill. We used to be cool, man. What's... Houston is a rooster from oh. Brewster. You don't know nothing about cool. Oh. He's about street. to lose the match. Five. <laughs> we got to do something. Six. Six. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that? Uh, uh, the fried fish they had was pretty good. I mean, if I may ask, you probably didn't put no tartar sauce on it. He oh, did it now. Oh, I think Truth done lost his mind. He's ready for a fight. He can just get the referee for a vote. I got acrophobia, y'all. Here are spiders. Not one spider on this ladder. <laughs> I told you. It's a not be no I want to be just like my childhood hero, John Cena. Cena. <laughs> you will go flying over that top, top rope, rope. <laughs> Paul Heyman. Paul Heyman? <laughs> I'm not in the Royal Rumble. And this actually broke him, bro. Like, this actually got Brock <laughs> to laugh. Because <laughs> I think it was something like a bet in the back. If they could get Brock to break. I think someone had a bet with him saying he could get Brock to break uh, on live on camera. And 
That's exactly what he did. He's that fucking hilarious. Bro. Oh, no, two by the felt <laughs> That was smart. <laughs> yes, it was. Talk about what the truth is going to do in Money in the Bank this Sunday. You're not even in the match. match. <laughs> this, this is on me. Kane, my bad. <laughs> Undeclaring <laughs> the Royal Rumble match. Number five, Santino Marella. Santino Marella. Santino was funny too, bro. It, even though some of his stuff kind of got like the whole fucking sock puppet thing and all that other stuff, but he was funny too. I, I will say that he he had his was the gift that kept moment. on giving during his WWE run. Fans always looked out for him on the show <laughs> to see what funny situation he was going to get himself into. Santino was perhaps at the funniest when mispronouncing other wrestlers' names. Yeah. My name is Santino Marella. You people have shown me nothing but misrespect. So now it's my turn to have a little bit of fun. John Cena. The honky donkey man. The honky donkey man. The honky donkey man. The honky donkey man. Rodney the Piper. Rodney the Piper. Rodney the Piper. Rodney the Piper. Golden Dust. Golden Dust. Golden Dust. Johnny Knockville. Johnny Knockville. Santa Claus. The Manimal. Baptista. The Manimal. Look at me. I'm a Baptista. Have gotten on my bad sides. KYJ. You see? What? <laughs> what? KYJ. KYJ. This is Santino Marella time. K and those are the bottom lines. It's the bottom line, not the bottom lines. But sometimes I like to say more than one thing. Kelly, <laughs> Kelly. <laughs> Kelly. Remy Nobel. Ray Mastro. Ray Mastro. Ray Mastro. Ray Mastro. <laughs> Shemus. Shemus. Randy Orton. Randy Orton. You son of a gun. What? Your <laughs> accent is ridiculous. Mr. John Laryngitis. Mr. Todd Grisham. Hey, Kane. And Felicia. David Notanga. David Notanga. Kobe Rhodes. Mr. Snoopy the Dog. Snoopy the Teddy Dorlong. San Diego. <laughs> Spontango. Sorry. Fandingo. In Japanese, Tenzai means Fat Albert. Ben. Ben. Surfing Turfer. Rahenberger. Rottenberper. Rock and Roller. Rallus Wonder. I'm sorry, I'm Italian. It's difficult for me to pronounce. Can I try on the flip side, home Jesus? Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, bro. <laughs> this was just one of the many ways Morella displayed hilarious charm. Santino regularly made his peers break and crack up on camera. You have a big mouth, John Cena. And there's nothing <laughs> I would like more for Christmas than a chance to shine. <laughs> he got up, John Cena. <laughs> Were you trying to be serious and sell a segment, bro? Oh, my God. Let's see how many brain cells the animal Baptista has. Twelve. <laughs> That's not very many Baptists that were excluded from activities with the other kids because you're a ginger. That's what we And the donut. It can be called McDonald's. <laughs> Any man who hides behind a mask is either incredibly ugly or is the Batman. <laughs> The rapping singer Acorn is here. Acorn? Acorn? I lost my title to William Regal. His knee to my head should have been illegal. You're not even in a restaurant, but you got served. Oh my God. He was an entertaining son of a gun and one of the funniest wrestlers of all the times. Cobra! You son of a gun! I will be the greatest intercontinental champion. Of all the times. Of all, all the times. It's a sad fact. So cold, the can act. He should go, go, go. Tonight, there's not going to be a glass breaking. If I wanted to, I could come down there and beat you like a rented mule or a mule for purchase. <laughs> there's not going to be a can of the ass whip being opened. I'm going to beat your friend like a government dog. A government. You like numbers fuckers? Nobody's what? going to stomp a mud pie. Look at me, I'm Jerry Lula. I like puppies. JR is not going to reach the point of orgasm. <laughs> I remember that. Because my speed is so fast, 
You can actually hear my strikes. <laughs> this shit was funny, man. <laughs> <laughs> no fence, Oh, what? Good lord! What's the name? The name was the For now, it wears punk. Did you try the Pepsi machine? I said! <laughs> oh, oh, no, the man. mantini! Oh, my! Oh, stop! This Please. about the guy no. in the orange. Oh, he, he's... Hold on. I, I want y'all to see the guy in the I orange, said. bro. Hold on. Angry. Angry. For now, he wears punk. Just watch the Did guy in the, the orange Pepsi in the crowd. Machine? I said! Oh, oh, no, the man just watch. Meanie. I just want y'all oh, to see my. the organic right there. You see? Guy right here. This tells it all. Just, what are we doing? Just, ah. Uh. Ah! Santina. I admit it. I am a lesbian. <laughs> Beth and Natalia did not flinch. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great costume party. We are winners. Actually, it's winners. Because we win? Yeah, anyway, uh, Oh, you're just gonna let you like it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it. It'll take a miracle for Santino, another miracle for him to survive these. <laughs> <laughs> Number four, Chris Jericho. Chris Jericho's best comedy be came as a result too. of his amazing skills on the microphone. Yeah. He was comically ruthless when roasting others. Chris showed no mercy and the fans completely ate it up. The only reason anybody bought your book in the first place is they were hoping that you would die at the end of it. <laughs> as the total jackass that he is. Enough. That you have a very small penis. Would never, ever, ever hit a woman, but you are not, not a, a woman. woman. Oh. Stephanie is nothing more than a filthy, dirty, <laughs> disgusting, brutal, bottom feeding, <laughs> trash bag hoe. How else do you think she became a filthy, dirty, disgusting, skanky, brutal, bottom feeding, trash bag hoe in the first place? <laughs> and when <laughs> your body hits the floor, <laughs> It's usually naked with a paying customer. <laughs> you want to say let the bodies hit the floor? I would say let the boobies hit the floor. I'm going to take care of that smelly, greasy, this is a funny nasty one animal. And I'm going to get it's you, you too, Rhino. Right <laughs> 25. No, no, no. I asked you how old you were, not how many men you've been with in the last week. The gore and, and the, the whore. whore. <laughs> I have to say you're also the biggest slut of the century. You're saying that I blew it. I'd have to say you've been doing all the blowing around here, sister. <laughs> 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 you idiot. <laughs> Can I have your attention, please? Of course you have an email, you idiot. Just read it. <laughs> I can promise you I'll never say anything about your father on this show again. However, your sister... I mean, come on, it's the U.S. champ and the communist tramp. <laughs> yeah, right, come on, let your freak flag fly, baby. <laughs> oh, she reminds me of Baby from House of a Thousand Corpses, some <laughs> weird chick. <laughs> what? <laughs> she is, baby. It's almost like your parents got horny while they were watching me beat up Juventud Guerrera 25 years ago, and nine months later, your little twerp ass popped out. <laughs> I'll even have sex with your mother. Damn. Again! <laughs> Again! What Y2J? <laughs> in a similar vein to Santino, Jericho loved mispronouncing people's names, and it was always fun to see the reaction of the wrestler on the receiving end. Let's see what you got there! Quasi juice! 
First of all, Gene Mean, Skiavone, <laughs> Mike Henry, Paul Core Holly, Baraka CG52, Vance McMahon, and Vance Stinko McMahon. Malenko, <laughs> Stinko. and Kirk Angel. But seriously, Edgeward, Mitchell Cole, Raisin, <laughs> would you please shut the hell up? Raisin. Luther, Octavius, Samson, Ernest Rogers. Loser. But what does the Big E stand for? Big Easter Bunny? Big Elephant? Big Edward? Big Utah? Big Urkel? Fun Dumbo? Fan Dangler? Fan Dingo ain't my baby o Fan B I N G Bingo was his name o Sandusky? Santino! San Tokyo? Santino! Sandadista? <laughs> Santino! 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 Y2J came on with loads of catchphrases to throw shade at others. I said you better watch it! Watch what? It. It. <laughs> we are going to do it! What are we gonna do? It. It. Sami Zayn is a stupid idiot. Itty. It. <laughs> You don't even work here anymore, it's Teddy Long, you stupid idiot! Stupid <laughs> idiot. Stupid idiot! That's a stupid decision that can only be made by a stupid <laughs> idiot. <laughs> stupid idiot. I heard that! You're supposed to! I'm from Winnipeg, you idiot. <laughs> See what you did? While also putting himself and his famous list of Jericho over. You know what's gonna happen? Yep. Oh, you know what's happening to you right now? You know what happens because you put Kevin Owens in this match? You know what's gonna happen? You know what happens, this, Chins but... McMahon? <laughs> you know what happens when you don't impress Kevin Owens at the Festival of Friendship, huh? You know what happens when you betray Chris Jericho? You just made the list! <laughs> you just made the list! Oh, no. The list. You just made the last! Oh no! You just made the last! You just made the list! You know what? You just made the list. Brace face in row 12 is now on the list. AJ <laughs> Styles, the stupid soccer mom's oh, hair. hair. Yep. You just, you just made, made the list! list. <laughs> you just unmade the list! Yes. Number three, Unmade Booker the list. T. We've seen a bit of him already, but now let's further highlight he Booker T's unique talents too. that made him so entertaining to I watch, hope they including have the infamous, the infamous Batista is down. Batista is down. Ah, oh, please have that on here, bro. First years of his WWE career. Yakamoshi shampoo. It won't make your hair look as good as mine. I'm getting ready to play some bingo, so don't worry about a thing. I'm safe and sound. Yeah. <laughs> I got them. This music, man. This. I got to feel what I'm doing, man. I got to feel what I'm doing, man. Booker T. Booker T. I'm not your son, girl. Son, girl. What's up? I shake, I shake ass. <laughs> as we of the King of the Ring, Book embarked on the funniest run of his career as King, King Booker. Booker. Camelot had come to SmackDown as Booker spoke in an old English accent and used <laughs> so classic funny, 15th century bro. terms like peasant. You are truly, truly a peasant. The man in the ring you're looking at right now is a peasant. Before all of you peasants, you're nothing more than a treasonous peasant. Who is this rogue? You take care of that rogue. This rogue Batista <laughs> did that rogue up in that turncoat, my royal knight, Finley. This Judas, this is what he is. This turncoat, this is a Benedict Arnold right here of all Benedicts. What is this unsettling maiden? <laughs> While demanding people kiss his royal feet and ring. Kiss my ring. Make this sucker. Kiss my feet. Yes, you peasant. Make him kiss my royal feet. I got oh. the ugliest damn toes and <laughs> the hammer toes. Good God. Book also loved to say his name in absurd fashion. It is I, King Booker. Hey there, Book. This King Booker. 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 This King Booker. 
But I disagree with you, Booker. Hey, oh, that's King, King Booker. Booker. <laughs> King Booker. 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 However, if Book got angry, he would drop the oh. British accent and King behavior, uh. allowing his original persona to shine through. Yep. Congratulations, Booker. You have officially lost your status as a black man. One night with the Queen. What? Okay. What? You're sick and twisted. I was never right. going to take your wife. Calm down, man. You need to back up. Because I'll bring you out of retirement. Oh, really? And then I'll put hey, you hey, right hey, back hey, in. Hey, 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 <laughs> and say that right now in my face. You make me sick. sick. Shut the hell up. God damn. Batista gets an opportunity at the world title at Survivor Series. What the hell are you talking about? What the hell are you talking about? In a steel cage. No. You got that? Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. Oh, oh, oh. The Undertaker. <laughs> Oh my god, I love this, bro. I love this, bro. The next evolution of the King Booker character came in TNA. Here, mm -hmm. Book sometimes spoke in an African accent. You see, Kevin Nash suffered a staff infection in the elbow. And respect. Respect! Joe gave me no respect. Respect! Joe gave Scott Hall no respect. Respect! And respect. Respect! All we wanted was a little bit of respect. You know, between due to the contrary of what these people may think, I do respect you, Joe. And at one point, he was known this as is... Black Snow. When Booker returned to WWE, he was put on commentary. He was once again a highlight of SmackDown and later Raw as he made crazy statements. These comments had the fans and Booker's broadcast partners rolling on the floor laughing. Booker, you wish you had legs like that. Sometimes I do. What? <laughs> Kofi Kingston, like he should be done. Made him bow down, made him pay my son, made him say, Daddy, I don't want none. What? Kelly, with a hot chick like that, man, I mean, she's hotter than a Mexican plate lunch with a whole bunch of hot sauce on it. <laughs> <laughs> man, two guys. Somebody called Child Protective Service. Sop mm. 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 up with a biscuit. Yes! Yeah. Ugly cold, that's what you are. You know I had a dream you died. Oh no. <laughs> oh, sidewalk slam. That I don't think that was a sidewalk slam. It looked like a sidewalk slam to me. With the WWE Network's one year anniversary. Happy birthday to you. Happy work birthday, WWE <laughs> Network. Seeing it here from both Scene Cara. Wow. Oh. And Daniel Bryan. Hip bones connected to the leg bone. This is Triple H right here. Oh my goodness. Right on the knee bone, connected to the ankle bone. You walked out as well, so you're a follower. Let me tell you, I had nothing to do with that. I'm totally neutral. I had to go to the bathroom. I thought the show was over with. I had nothing to do with that. Hey, right? Oh, man, 400 pounds. Oh, my goodness. He just left a ski on that boy. But Tita just yes. did not clap yes. the hell out. But Tita is down. down. But is, is down. is down. Jerry Lawler has bruised ribs and he's also suffering from from anal bleeding. What? what? <laughs> Throughout his time, both on commentary and as an active wrestler, Booker had multiple catchphrases that were often said in funny situations. What the hell? Kevin Nash. That's my big homie. Uh, who the what hell? the hell? What the? Ke Ke Kevin? Is that? Is that? That's my big homie. Oh, <laughs> it's gonna be old like neck bone. Uh, Chucky, Chucky. Check this out right here. Quack, quack. Boy, it's gonna be old like a steaming pot. No, not that much wood. Chucky, Chucky, quack, quack. Yes. <laughs> you didn't say that. Tell me you didn't just say that. 
Tell yep. me. Yup. When he, he said the N word. Did he didn't just say that. Did he what? Tell me. He didn't just say that. I didn't see that. <laughs> <laughs> Tell I me. I did not just see that. Tell me. You didn't just say that. What? <laughs> oh, <laughs> can you dig that? <laughs> <laughs> Number two, Eddie Guerrero. Right he from his early years in WCW, Eddie Guerrero was making us laugh thanks to his unmistakable charisma. It's conceivable it could happen. Going Guerrero away. Well, if you go back into the archives, you'll find out and you'll find the questions there are on Eddie Guerrero and certainly well deserved the heat that he's getting right now with the fans. We need to get the title for WCW. Chant Eddie you don't want to hear. Guerrero claiming of a hair pull here. No way. Two deep arm drags in with a drop kick. And he's trying to. <laughs> oh my God! Hey! You did you take. <laughs> no. With each new iteration of his character, Guerrero got funnier and funnier. Get behind Eddie. Ooh, baby, we're gonna tear up the dance floor <laughs> Sunday night, being you at the prom. Mmm, mommy. Hey, look at this! <laughs> <laughs> The boss man, the buddy man, Hefner, okay? I want to talk to him about mommy's pictures coming out of his magazine. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good smile, bro. That's a good smile. Yeah. But it was during his lie, cheat, and steal days on SmackDown that Eddie became a true icon of pro wrestling. Oh, look, a little baby. Yeah, for me. Yeah. I said, what are you going to do with that? Hey, man, you took everything else. I had to take something. Well, hey, mamacita. <laughs> do you feel like munching on a burrito? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're here to clean your pool. Is my pool all right? Oh yeah, Grandma, just a couple more tips. Eddie Guerrero putting on Cena's jersey and hat, mocking John Cena. Eddie, <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's no toilet paper in here. Here it goes. Cousin Chewy and we'll put some hydraulics on it. Oh, that <laughs> Did you desecrate my hat? Uh, uh, I don't know what you're talking about, <laughs> man. That's a thousand dollar hat. <laughs> <laughs> Said I'm sorry. I forgot to tell you. Yeah. I lied. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm starting to feel you, old. I cannot believe it! God bless you. Take five. You sure you're happy about that number, player? Gross, no number! What is happening? <laughs> <laughs> Take me back to New York City now! Whoa! The lights are hanging off the horn! He's passed out! Look at Bradshaw! <laughs> <laughs> Be extremely oh, what the heck? His innovative ways of breaking the rules Michigan. and getting away with it was ingenious as much as it was hilarious. And so's Kurt, but look at the look on Eddie's face. Cole. Kurt wasn't moving, but he, he sandwiched. Oh, it inadvertently. Oh, there's that. <laughs> What's he going to do? Major, major, major problem now. Referee down. Smirk on the face <laughs> of Eddie <laughs> Just tap it. Wait a minute. Look at this. Oh, 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 
And then whenever he got caught, it was even funnier. But yeah. even when his plan failed and he messed up, everyone still loved him because he was so endearing and charismatic. Oh, I love Eddie. this, man. This is so good. Eddie bro. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, The Rock. No wrestler has entertained and electrified For across sure. multiple Made forms sense. of media like The Rock. He was so funny and entertaining during his original WWF run that Hollywood quickly snapped him up. The Great One was one of the few main event wrestlers that was able to get away with doing so much comedy. Yeah. It was a huge part of his act, but he was so charismatic and skilled in the ring, fans took him seriously no matter what. The Brahma Bull trash talk like no one else. The Rock talks trash in his sleep, just like this. Lay the smack it down on that <laughs> Just check mankind in to the Smackdown Hotel on the corner of Know Your Own Boulevard and Jabroni Drive. Smackdown Hotel, corner of Know Your Own Boulevard, Jabroni Drive. Oh, that guy can't talk. Ah, he's a little tied up. Right <laughs> it's a guy who looks like Tarzan and he wrestles like James. You need to worry about what's going on. Shut over your here. mouth while the rock listen to this boring crap. <laughs> or I'll slap the dead right off your monkey ass and give it back to you. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> Rock is great, bro. Oh, can I get a high five on that? Hell no, I give oh. you a slap in the teeth. How about oh, wait that? Wait a minute. Bring it. Go ahead and bring it. You're no tooth, bitch. <laughs> Uncle Joe Jericho. You know too, bitch. Come on. <laughs> Go with the glass eyes. Grandpa Jimmy Jack Jericho with the iron lung. It might be even Grandma Jezebel Jericho with the double X 30 patties. You should be concerned with fixing yourself a nice tall glass of shut no. up juice. <laughs> shut up juice. Fix it. The Rock sacrificed me fast for he laid the smack down on my candy ass! Rock bigged himself up in hilarious fashion mm -hmm. while making light of whatever situation he was in. The Rock is genetically electrifying. He emits electricity. Emitting electricity. Oh, three. Michael, I believe that's Michael Cole. I'm not sure. <laughs> but just to have this to have a shirt on his head and on the microphone is the ultimate disrespect. 165 days a year, including leap year. Perhaps The Rock's best work on the mic came from insulting others. The Great One could cook people in the most creative of ways. Benoit, all you want to do is prove things. Kane, since you just want to find things, Kane. you go ahead and find the penis Benoit claims he has. <laughs> you have a three foot nose, you turn it sideways and stick it straight up Vince's <laughs> ass. With all the great decisions that Vince McMahon has made over his lifetime, the decision to expand the WWF in 1983, the decision to create WrestleMania in 1985, the infamous penis implant of 1991. <laughs> Shane, your role, know it. Triple H, your mouth, shut, shut it. it. Stephanie, <laughs> your dirty panties, wear it. It's <laughs> coming from a man who took a sacred vow of marriage to the biggest slut in the Western Hemisphere. <laughs> If anybody knows anything about screwing, it's you. You. <laughs> I start talking about the winner of the match gets five minutes with your wife, because quite frankly, everybody's already had that. <laughs> Rock must say you are looking quite gigantic. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go to France. We gotta go to China. We gotta go to Russia. But don't worry, we get in trouble. We could use Stephanie McMahon's breast as a flotation device. <laughs> if anybody knows anything about. Screwing, it's you. <laughs> Booker T and Shane, the punk ass sucker, and the silver spoon mother bonger. <laughs> Who would have ever thought the man with 24 inch pythons would have half inch testicles? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't even doing what? 
probably laying naked on a beach, sitting there watching Brock Lesnar work out. Like a big fat walrus. Brock, Brock, Brock. Very Saturn, bro, bro, bro. the Rock's gift to you. The Rock knows that you've got one eye that goes that way and another eye that goes that way. So the Rock will slap that crooked eye straight. Kevin Kelly, you are now Chris Benoit. Smile, jabroni. <laughs> Excuse the rock. His cell phone's going off. Cacao, hello. Hey, it's nothing. He says he knows you. <laughs> it's nothing. If you are the game, then quite frankly, you need to go back to the drawing board. You should go back to the drawing board because your game absolutely sucks. Because your game absolutely sucks. Even without the mic, the Brahma Bull was skilled at physical comedy. Mm -hmm. Whether it was through taunting that made fun or put down of the wrestlers. <laughs> Great match, man. Classic match. Well, how about the iconic people's elbow yep. that was first used as a way to try and make the mythical Undertaker break character? Mm. It's the most electrifying move. It's more than a table. It's like... What's this? He's just having fun to rock. What the hell? I drop the people's elbow on this piece of <laughs> 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 Taker wasn't the only wrestler that found The Rock amusing, as The Rock has made several of his peers break character on screen in the past. What you're cooking smells like 100% oh, no, grade A. The Rock! Character on screen. What the hell? I dropped the people's elbow on this piece of <laughs> Taker wasn't the only wrestler that found The Rock amusing, as The Rock has made several of his peers break character on screen in the past. What you're cooking smells like 100% grade A. Money back guarantee, one big bucket of Canadian moose piss. <laughs> Do you like donuts? <laughs> Get the biggest jelly donut you can find. Oh no. Nights, uh, <laughs> I am the gamer. Your arms are way too damn big. Look at this thing. <laughs> Finally come back to the super dome. <laughs> Including Steve Austin, courtesy of the Great One's hilarious oversell mm -hmm. of the Stone Cold Stunner. <laughs> I love it. Oh my god. The most electrifying man in sports entertainment isn't just a catchy nickname. It's a moniker that The Rock has lived up to on the silver screen and in the ring. So it's no surprise that singing was yet another one of the great one's many talents. You ain't nothing but a redneck. <laughs> Whip your ass again. The Rock can't wait to whip Austin's ass again. Canadians have no class. <laughs> That's why they can kiss the people's ass. Even before there was the rock concerts, the People's Champ broke out in song on numerous occasions, with some hilarious renditions of popular mm -hmm. music, all with their own rocky twist. Kicking all over New Orleans. Happy birthday to Steph. You're a hoe with big breasts. <laughs> the rubber and the rock in this ring will meet. And when it's all over, the rock whooping ass on Latino heat. Ay, 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 ay. The rock can hear the <laughs> wedding song now. Here comes a test. And the hoe with the enormous breath. Yeah. <laughs> when it came to entertainment, The Rock could pretty Man. much do anything. This included doing brilliant His impressions of other wrestlers, golden. even if they weren't exact or necessarily similar to the talent being parodied. Big slow, since Big they're slow. scaring all the Rock's fans. Ooh, What you gonna do when the 24? No, wait, that's not it. That's not it. That's to not be it. the man. Woo! 
You got a beat. No, no wait, that's, that's not, not it. it. Let that's The Rock tell you in Chinese. Uh oh. Chinese. Ding bang ding dong. He's Stone Cold. It's me, Mark Lloyd. Oh, it's it's me, me, Mark Lloyd. Look at that guy. Shut up. No, great one. No, no, no. Don't put me in the oven. Don't put me in the oven. We are the Undertaker with his Mickey Mouse tattoos and his 33 pound head. Die, die, die. And all that stupid crap. <laughs> screaming like a girl. <laughs> Rest <laughs> in He's so good, bro. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. They sit there and they kept me down for five <laughs> years. You walk around here so angry, boy. Walk around here mad. Your face all squinched up. <laughs> <laughs> Night, sir. I am the game. Yeah. You ride around on a sled. What's that all about? <laughs> I do. So down with it. Ah, oh, you too. So down with it. What's wrong with Who's you? you? Don't see the rock coming out and saying, What? 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 <laughs> I gotta get in my pickup truck, drink some Steve Weisers, listen to some Backstreet Boys. What is two plus two? Do you know Booker? Two plus two? Thomas Jefferson, sucker! sucker. <laughs> you, Chico, Razor Ramon, Big Daddy Cool, Diesel. <laughs> well, let me tell you something, brother. What you gonna, gonna do? do? <laughs> Let's go. What we're gonna do? It's this type of comedic timing and execution that made The Rock the absolute best on the microphone. Mm -hmm. The people just couldn't help but be entertained. The people's champion continued to drop back in after transitioning to movies full time. Then mm -hmm. after becoming a key player in Hollywood, he returned to WWE in 2011. After a long absence, The Rock was back in all his comedic glory. Your big buggy eyes. It looks like what would happen if Abe Lincoln got busy with a gremlin. And this one over here looking like he's been breastfed since he was 26 years old. <laughs> Plus, your breath is smelling like Chewbacca's hairy beanbag. You couldn't provide ice cream if the Dairy Queen Carvel and Cookie Puss drove an ice cream truck straight up your ass. You are the day one douchebag. Looking <laughs> at is this. We're looking at what would happen if a homeless lumberjack banged an Oompa Loompa. <laughs> It is bright rainbow shirts coming out here looking like a homeless Power Ranger. <laughs> it's almost as if the Incredible Hulk banged Urkel. What? But let me go ahead and tell you. Shut your, your bitch, bitch ass, ass up. up. <laughs> She's going to reach down your throat and pull your insides out and play jump rope with your fallopian tubes. <laughs> Making them look like a transvestite Wonder Woman fighting crime. Pew, 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 pew. To step in the oh, shut your mouth, Twinkie Tits! <laughs> I'm running around here looking like what would happen if Vanilla Ice banged a Teletubby. You wouldn't be in power if it wasn't for Vince McMahon's Johnson. Oh. Enjoy your fruity pebbles, you yabba dabba bitch! You clearly are an a-hole. From Los Angeles all the way to Japan, you're getting ready to get your monkey ass whipped by the rock and the man. Sorry, Mama Cena. Check these charts. Well, baby, Johnny's got lady parts. Let's ride. Dress like a hooker. <laughs> the expensive The Rock went one better in 2024 by returning as a heel. The final boss was doing some of the best work of his career, mm -hmm. dropping gospel and making wrestling cool again during a great boom period for the WWE. Kill oh, him, Cody bro. Crybabies, yeah. Oh, <laughs> kill him, These are grown ass men, and uh, Cody gotta finish his story. <laughs> <laughs> we want Cody. Cody's gotta finish his story. That's when Dusty said with total frustration. That drugs and cheap condoms was a bad combination. The number one city in America this is good for too. cocaine and meth use <laughs> is Phoenix, Arizona. <laughs> you broke the all-time record for the largest gathering of trailer park, park trash, trash. <laughs> the rock has ever seen. Because finally, you cactus-loving crackheads finally have something <laughs> worth shooting in your veins. 
You shut your mouth, fatty. The rock will come out there and slap the herpes off your lips. <laughs> I can't give the belt to Dusty, but I can give it to my mama. mama. I can give it to my mommy. <laughs> my mommy. Shut the shut fuck, fuck up. up. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out a similar video. I'm on... sorry, bro. But that shit. <laughs> hey, final boss rock. That version of him is, is fantastic, bro. <laughs> Fucking love it. I understand why he's number one on the list. Comment down below. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. Also, let me know who do y'all feel like is the funniest wrestler of all time, man. If they weren't listed on this list, let me know down below. But I appreciate all love and support. Bro, to 50K, and I'm still young, speedy, youth, wrestling champ of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking it with me. See y'all next one. Peace.